Hey everyone, it's Zach from Zach Green's Reptiles. A couple of videos back, I showed you some of my um, martyr line blood pythons. This video, I figured I would do some martyr outcrosses. So these are animals that were from either a pure martyr to another line or a 50-50 martyr to something else, bred to something else. But all these animals do have some martyr blood lines in them, but they're not pure martyr lines. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like, like the button, comment below, hit that little notification bell, and let's get started. All right, first up, this is Charlotte. She is a 50% martyr animal. Um, she is a redhead. She is the daughter of Gossamer. Absolutely beautiful animal. Real nice, calm demeanor. Um, she's just really, really great. Um, she's the mother to the um, eggs that are in the incubator right now. She was bred to a golden eye. And show show this head real quick. I mean, just absolutely great color to her. Absolutely love her. She's a whole back. Um, she's one that I did produce. And I believe all of these that I'm going to be showing you. I, I produced here at Zach Green's Reptiles. But she is a little bit on the thin side just because she did just lay a clutch um, almost 60 days ago. They're due to hatch in two weeks exactly today. That'll be their 60 days. All right, now let's get her back and we'll show you another one. This guy isn't quite so laid back, but he's not too bad. Um, he is a VPI stripe bred to a red-headed martyr. And um, he was produced by a, um, when we did a breeding loan with Alexa, it was Charlie bred to Gossamer. And he was one of my holdbacks from that clutch. Um, it's the same clutch that the static blood that Alexa posts here and there came from, so it is a direct sibling to that one. Um, really, really nice stripe on him. His colors aren't as nice as I would have hoped, but his sister that I'm gonna show you here in a couple of minutes, definitely, definitely got that color that I was hoping for, as well as the nice clean stripe. But he really, really is a nice clean animal. Um, I really like that stripe that he's got going on. Uh, just really, really cool looking animal. All right, now let's go to his sister. Here we go. All right, now this girl is one of my favorites that I've produced. Um, again, this was a breeding loan with Alexa. This one is a little, little bit more jumpy, so let's try to do this without incident. There we go. Look at that color and look at that stripe that she's got going on. Let's move this a little bit better in the picture. There we go. Just a phenomenal animal. Look how clean that stripe is on that nice, bright, deep red background that she's got going on uh, really really dark red head and a lot of that blushing going up probably about a third of her body on the sides nice pink blushing um, again another um, another animal from when we did that breeding loan with Alexa so it was Charlie bred to Gossamer Charlie is supposedly a VPI stripe however like Alexa has mentioned that she did get her third hand, so there's no paperwork proving that, but from, from what she tells me and what she feels, it probably is a VPI stripe. And uh, just amazing, amazing female. Um, plan to breed her next year if she's ready. She is a 2017. The, um, her brother as well 
was 2017 and Charlotte that I showed the very first one she's a 2014 and she's one of those where I'm going to show you an animal that her brother sired and I really really regret letting him go but live and learn <laughs> but um, I'm going to show him real quick so all of these that I've showed you so far are 50% 50, 50 martyr bloodline uh, outcrossed. Um, this one is martyr VPI, her brother martyr VPI. Charlotte was martyr to an unknown, um, unknown line, um, but she came from nice red animal as well. All right, I'm gonna pause this real quick, put her away, and we'll pull out the next one. All right, so here's one more. Um, this is probably gonna be the last one I'm gonna show you in this video. This is a 2017 holdback. Um, sire to him was Blaze, which was um, Charlotte's brother. And he was a 50% uh, martyr bred to unknown, loca un unknown line. And this guy is, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't know the full genealogy if it's 33% or 25% or whatever, but he is he is part martyr, but not full martyr. Um, last year he was bred to Rosie, which is my 2010 martyr redhead, which produced all the all those really funky looking babies. Um, <clears throat> this guy was bred was produced from Blaze, which is Charlotte's uh, brother, to Dottie, which is VPI to unknown locale and um she she also has like a weird little stripe to her uh, i'm actually bringing those back together this year to see if there's anything to that or if this stripe is just a funk or what's going on with it but i really really like it it is last in this clutch that um this guy was produced in probably about half the clutch had a nice stripe like that over probably 75 percent of the body so I'm really, really excited to see what that does this year. If she produces, everything's looking pretty good. It looks like Dottie's starting to build some follicles. So we'll see, hopefully that goes smoothly. And all right, so those are my martyr outcross animals that I have here. If you got any questions, comment below. You can email me at Zach, Z-A-C-K, at zgreptiles.com. Uh, comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you can. That little bell notification lets you know every time I post a video. And we will see you next time. Real quick, just a quick little bonus. This is that male that I just showed you with Dottie. There's that stripe that she's got going on. Um, she is not a martyr animal. She's not a martyr outcross. She's a, a VPI outcross. But in her lineage, as far as I'm aware, there is no genetic stripe to it so this will be a fun little project to see what kind of pops out of this all right well i just wanted to show you that real quick and take care